see what is happening is I can see your roll number. So uh, let me just see. I think I have given you this one. Now here, sorry. Okay, you can rename yourself. So what you do is keep your uh, this number as it is. Add a space, and then you put your name the way you like to be called. So instead of calling like a 141 or 166, instead of that, I can call you by name when I want. You got it? You got it, no? Change it now. I have allowed you to change. And maintain like that so that every teacher knows your name instead of just calling you by number. And preferably, today when you get time, put your photograph there. So what happens is, Instead of having logos, sceneries or numbers, it will be easier to remember your face also. Hmm? Excuse Very me, good. sir. Excuse me, sir. Am I audible? Yeah, you are audible. Good afternoon, sir. So we have to leave this meeting and then rename us, na, sir. What is it? Sir, we have to leave this meeting and rename, na, sir. No, we no, can't... no. You don't have to. I don't know how it. you can do it. You can rename uh, yourself. May I, may I speak? Yeah, speak, speak. Uh, uh, click on the participant and then there's option for you. Uh, click on more and then there's the option for rename. Okay, okay, I got it. Thank you, sir. Thanks, sir. Any, you all will find it much faster than me. That is why the smarter old people, what they do is when they get new phone and all, they give it to their grandson and ask him, now how should I use it? And he adjusts everything and he gives a ready-made one in hand and teaches them how to use it. Hmm? Good. Now we are getting the names. Some guys still haven't moved because they have just switched on and they have gone somewhere. Uh, sir, I am not getting it how to. Mm, somebody guide him. You go on. One minute, uh, sir. Click on... Sorry. Click on participants. Yes. And then. Uh... When you point the cursor on your name, there's an option for more. So when you click on that, uh, okay, they give okay, an option for reading. Got it. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, okay. You join. You know, in case you get any problems. You can change the equipment, anything. I have got no problems with those things. You can also unmute yourself, ask questions, raise hand. No problem. We are informal. Okay. We are not going to make it very formal type of stuff. No, 43 is missing. Fifty-two, fifty-six, fifty-eight, nine. No, 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 no. Rohan Sharma, you put your number first, the way it is supposed to be. Put space and then put Rohan. Yes, okay. Because that way what happens is I get everything in one sequence. Now why this guy has got out? Oh, no, now it is okay. See what happens is then attendance also becomes easier. I get everything in one sequence. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. 
let's move on i can see 38 3 are missing and 39 2 missing you have to be in class on time you are not allowed to be late even by one second i am clear no everybody follow same internet time in case you get into any problem because you could not connect or anything ask me you are not allowed to overstay your breaks okay get used to that idea you have to be on time because without punctuality you are not going to go anywhere nowhere in all professional careers you ask any successful person and you will see that they are very punctual with time Okay, this is the way we will be doing it. Not for any other reason, but afterwards you will have a lot more problems. Yeah, okay. I, that's why I am not doing anything right now. My point is, as we move on. Okay, now if anybody is late, what you do is you rename yourself by don't touch the number you have got there. Okay. Put a space after the number and put your name by which you like to be called. Okay. Yeah, 72. Yes. You have to put your name there so that I don't address you 72. 68 is also 77 also. Fifty-two also, same thing. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Neil. Let's let's move on. Okay. I have to keep this one alive somewhere here because otherwise I don't know when you are asking questions. I am putting everybody on mute so there will be no disturbance. You are allowed to unmute when you have got a question. Okay. Okay, I had asked you to read all this, right? Now, my introduction, forget it, because that's not that important for you. What is more important is, how do we study? What we are going to do? Now, syllabus, uh, learning plan, everything is already on that this website. We normally get calculate 16 weeks, but we try to finish in 12 to 13 weeks. And if required, we take extra classes one way or the other. We ensure that syllabus is finished well before time and revision is done. Some revision is required because most of you are used to different learning methods where you study few days before exams. And there is a gap because what I teach you now, I ask you in January, February, you will say I forgot. So that should not happen. That is why we keep some time for revision. Now, the whole idea of any professional training is you must get best of the best knowledge that's available from everywhere okay i'm just one of the tools in that you read a lot anything material you get you read you watch youtube videos you talk to people join chat groups where they discuss something use internet for research only danger what is involved on internet is there is a lot of fake information. So don't accept everything just on the face value. Think over it. Whatever it is, think over it. Yeah, okay. This guy is saying it is like this. Does it fit my logical mind? No, it's not fitting. Let me ask somebody. Go oh, ask somebody. So that is how what happens. It gets cleaned up. Another problem with internet is the terminology that is used. There is a very strong American influence on internet. And we don't use American terminology in India. So you can have certain issues there. So you have to understand even there is something written on the ship. If it is from USA, it may be saying something but your understanding might be different because of the choice of words. So you have to be a little bit careful. but you will be able to do enough research there to satisfy yourself. Another one is discuss. 
with others study in groups at group of at least 4 and discuss even while eating food you can ask each other questions and discuss something and you are okay see in the end what is time management you know you have to do this much of study try to find different methods without making it a burden see once you start thinking of it as a burden everything is lost now when you will start this course follow the sequence okay the sequence is made in a particular way so that you will go step by step links are there there are links which will take you to other sites you will find some guidance notes or self assessment questions both are practically the same some people use word guidance notes some say self assessment question means short questions are there and i read the question i ask it to myself yeah do you know it yes i know the answer in mind not writing mind so that the confidence builds up yes i know i can take the next step i can take the next step videos will be there pictures will be there then there will be some assignments given to you quizzes will be there now the quiz don't have negative view of it it is not testing you with quizzes i get idea whether you are understanding what i am talking if you don't understand it will reflect in a quiz that okay this topic most of the students didn't understand fine so i revise it then again quiz will indicate whether it's understood or not understood the quizzes are for that that is indicator of teaching not learning learning is because if you know the all right answers means the teaching process was successful and so was learning there can be gaps you see teaching and learning is not exactly on same level up and down is there you have to keep track of imu syllabus and teaching plan some of you will do it some of you may not do it agree with whatever it is the guy who is attending class somebody one of you must keep track of the teaching plan chlp what is given there that done 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 if anything is missing ask okay raise queries but not for sake of raising queries raise queries when you don't understand if you understand it's okay if you have got difficulty ask me ask your neighbor you know peer learning is also very important part of learning so ask read find something else in the end what is the idea 100% knowledge has to be transferred don't lag behind too much means don't end up in a saying kal karega parso karega and then you have got a big gap to catch big gap you can't catch you know a train starts when it has not gathered that much of speed and there is a sufficient gap you can run and catch the train but if train is too fast you can't catch it same thing about buses anything wherever you are hang you know some guys know it in mumbai and say calcutta you know some places you don't have to hang you are nice quick and comfortable so this is the way you will be doing it now next one i am going to talk about is the self study now here i am just following it exactly from the moodle site so as far as you go you are practically following the same now this information of self study i have gathered from many places okay it is not uh, what you can say the my uh, full creation or something no this is just a research combined to make it little easier for you that you don't have to struggle on time has come for you to leave hand of a teacher and stand up on your own means in next two and a half years you are going to become independent total you are 18 plus you can elect government you are independent man or woman so don't expect baby baby childish behaviors our case the self study is supplementary to your classroom learning i am not going to leave something on you okay you will get some projects where you have to do research on own but that is something else we are not going to leave something on you saying that self study karo or nikal jao no 
year self study is supplementary that means whatever you do in classroom self study is like revisions what you are going to do and improve on whatever you learned in the class to make it better okay what you need everything is just copied information generally one should be comfortable follow this the the most important ones as far as i go the rest of the things are okay this is the critical area this okay i have noticed it that some of there is not enough attention paid to pen pencil eraser sharpeners they distract you what happens if my pen runs out of ink i have to look around ask somebody are there a pen there that's a distraction same thing about pencils so you should have like two pens two pencils eraser of your own sharpener because you have to sharpen the pencil compass box because you need to use the compass as well as a, a divider ruler is a must now okay the compass box will have a 15 cm ruler normally that works but you should also own a normal full ruler okay 30 cm parallel ruler now that you will get you know with the time passing they will tell you parallel ruler everything highlighters and all whatever you need to highlight information that you will come later on but make sure that your compass box everything is in good condition always because people have got struggle and you are not allowed to borrow anything during exams now when you take any notes now again i am not exactly expert on taking notes because i don't take so many notes i try to retain in it and then my notes are such that only i can understand nobody else avoid loose papers because when you write on a loose paper you keep it somewhere and it can go missing better to use notebook as a loose paper a rough book so you know where to look for instead of searching all over you know yes i it is in this use notebook i will get information what i what i marked it somewhere so you get it in this question of then 2 3 minutes and you got everything otherwise searching for a paper can be madness you will be using laptops computers smartphones etc now eye exposure will be one of the concerns because already you have heard enough on it from parents that don't play so much don't play so much on this but get glasses you know which one the eye protecting you get no the ones uv types and whatever to protect the blue and all whatever it is so get it but these are the essential tools because your eye sight shouldn't get spoiled so have something to protect your eyes next try all types of method now these things are written by experts okay they are these people have spend lot of time in their life in doing research on different things so i cannot give you any guidance on this but go through all of it try all of them all the methods what people are telling you here or you know you'll find this is from internet so you'll find the same thing try all the methods some methods are suitable for math some methods are suitable for something else some methods are suitable for meteorology fine over the period in next two and a half years you will develop different habits and you will learn what to use where but go through all of it don't rule them out first only because i tell you something so you don't rule it out no test it yourself when you feel you are comfortable with it then start using it don't try to just do something because somebody else is doing or hey, what is good for me and then and it not be good for you these things happen then this is important part study multiple subjects each day because in life you are not going to get dedicated time for one one thing at a time 
you know working parallel is their thing so different multiple subjects means what happens you break them in small pieces and you learn continuity as you read it every day today is linked with tomorrow tomorrow is linked with day after tomorrow so you will start retaining it it better this is very interesting one rather than just focusing only on one sir today i am going to study only maths you know next three days only maths no mix up all the subjects in the beginning you may have little difficulty i do understand your issues like you are used to studying like two days before exam sure i am not going to disturb that because you also need marks it is not only talking theoretically marks are not my as far as i go marks are not that important you need balance so you need marks also so uh just try to follow this and after the experimentation you will know which is working well with you which is not now this is something like 2 months okay if you follow this method it's about 2 months don't multitask now this multitask definition is different than what you generally hear everybody will tell you you must learn for time management multitasking is and that is work that is work related thing where you have to be involved and run four things at a time that you will do later on here the multitasking is distractions like when you are doing right now you are saying you are supposed to focus on what i am talking and look at the screen and try to absorb not at the same time are ye phone pe kya aaya what is happening oh let me put a message that i am chatting no don't do that if you are not using your phone if you are not using your phone for study i will even say switch off phone for that much of time and you don't study at long stretches you generally you know your human concentration span is only about say 15 20 minutes for most of the people some people can stretch it longer some people even have 15 is enough and then take break like recommendations can be study 45 minutes take 15 minutes break now some 40 minutes and all may be having something that allows you like you know generally your school timings college timings are 45 minutes in length period is 45 minutes 40 minutes like that here we have got one hour but that is because we follow little different regime and the number of hours are counted but we also try to give you say we teach about half an hour 5 10 minutes go like ye bakwas baji <laughs> then some questions ha huh? okay so don't try to do too many things when you're studying just study focus okay half an hour half an hour no problem but take break revise in your mind and then continue that way it is much better you will find your own methods anyway because everybody has got different learning styles you know and there is something that you go on website they tell you which is your learning style by uh, giving you a quiz and all that's all free stuff try to identify yourself okay the summarizing simplify you know enough about it mnemonics taking notes by hand now here this point is something you do some more reading before you reach any conclusion because i don't believe in taking notes because for me the previously discussed point distraction instead of concentrating on what is given you end up transferring it that means you may get a direct connection between your ears and hand without going through brain it is possible so as far as i go you find your own method write down your worries so that you don't go blank in exams okay it happens to people i have seen during 5 years of my teaching career people do go blank pressures what happens is if you are prepared well you will also learn you concern are yaar if that question come what you will do that you prepared yourself from beginning so you know what to do not facing a problem without knowing what to do then you lose time in exams if you are going to start thinking what is the answer what is the answer you will never finish the paper 
but whereas you read the question you know the answer you will definitely finish all the papers on time never ever you will have a shortage of time test yourself frequently now this self testing need not be written it can be just i ask question to myself i think about the points okay 1 point 2 point 3 points okay how many points i know good enough that is the revision here because in then you are going to take out everything from here rest is you read more okay reading out loud also it works with some people it doesn't work with everybody and you start out talking loudly the neighbor says you catch it lad it used to be a ploy by a lot of boys to do it when the cricket is there so morning studies will be loud voice and then moment uh, tv starts switch over okay this taking regular breaks rewarding yourself okay <laughs> eating a healthy snack so i don't know what is healthy snack because it's <laughs> one of those items everybody is arguing on it what healthy snacks you think is everybody tells you it is not good now this focus on process is what basically focusing on process means you know like say maths physics navigation stability and all you get the problems so you learn how to solve the problem don't just keep on solving like a donkey understand the methods correctly learn methods so that any values can change and you still know how to solve it you can't be saying that values must be same and that i copy only that no it may be difficult for some people in the beginning but this is the time to start changing okay a water drinking is there but not in the class okay end of the class you drink water now here about 2 to 3 liters is a arguable one by a lot of people uh, in norway for example they drink only 1 and 1/2 liter in a day why because they don't have so much of uh, hot temperature the perspiration is less our perspiration is more so i think 2 to 3 liters okay one glass will be probably with 300 cc okay then rest is very important which everybody has already told you no point in going in it and go through this again think about it and experiment with it now this efficient note taking method i have given you a link this link discusses various methods of notes how do you take the notes okay some people say that this method is better to do some somebody says no a full sentence somebody says point all sorts of things are there but go through this and experiment see which works better in case you need to take notes in case you just need a trigger you see one of the thing my observation during exam uh, in vigilation was people have got answer within them it's not triggering on the trigger is very important and this what is that copying guy says some one word one word he triggers on other guy starts writing so this triggering methods are the same mnemonics and all that so use them now enough about this let us start moving on development of watch and shape this is where we start discussing your syllabus okay understand what i am saying okay suppose if i have got a piece of paper like this okay if i put it on water will it float give me some answer why will it flow iftikar it will absorb water it will sink isn't it Yes, sir. Correct. Now what happens is, as a small child, what do we learn? 
we learn somebody teaches her how to make boats and all and this time our monsoon has also stayed long so morning i made this one okay now see what this one has got it's the same paper i have given it some strength by folding it here and there and i have given it shape now what happens if i put it in water it may go up to here till it absorbs water assuming if it is waterproof paper and then what happens but i can put something inside small pebbles or something it will still float now that is how the ships are made it is made out of steel but it needs strengthening it needs a shape now what is it is basically a box to carry goods and that box that floats everybody will say miraculously because uh, people who have never seen a ship can have lots of doubts about mr archimedes how big such a huge thing made out of steel is floating so it is miraculous so anyway it is a box which floats on water which can be closed okay ships you have to close because bad weather will fill up water inside and it will sink like this way. and that box is used to transport cargo or people anything whatever you want to take from here to there just the way we load it in a truck or something or in a car and drive same way we have got a box which floats in the water we drive it in the water it may have people it may have cargo so it's a type of boat that floats a water borne vehicle that is a ship simple definition for us we will make it complicated afterwards now how what ship needs okay what ship needs a water tight body because like i said my paper boat if water soaks it it is going to sink so i need a water tight body so that is where we use steel it is given some shape following archimedes laws archimedes principle okay those guys were mad guys who lived long back 2 and a half 3000 years 3000 years 3 and a half thousand years ago they have made all students life miserable because archimedes also must be having friends like euclid and all sorts of things okay now the, those all guys came out with some fancy idea logarithms and what all stuff they made integral calculus calculus and all. no i think i am right no made our life miserable so mr archimedes was one of them okay so a this law principle of flotation actually applies to all liquids and gases also fluids okay but uh, we don't use it there uh, with gases so we are talking only about liquid now this video will show you uh, somebody is explaining it and she shows you now uh, before uh, we start the video the bowling ball what she says the black colored one it is normally uh, either some sort of a plastic or a rubberized thing a hard rubber it has got two hole three holes so you put fingers in them carry it it's heavy and you roll it to knock off some nine pins okay some of you may have seen it some of you may not have seen it it's a heavy thing and it used to be very popular sport since 70s 80s 90s after that i have not heard much some farish they play usa they play europe not much so that is bowling so that is one ball other one is a simple basketball or a football or something or same size but light in weight so this is discussed in this video okay i'll start the video now you might wonder how a cargo ship weighing a quarter million tons can float in water but a paper clip like this one sinks well it has everything to do with buoyancy buoyancy is the ability of something to float in a liquid and it has to do with two things the first is density 
Density is how heavy something is relative to how much space it takes up. For example, a bowling ball and a volleyball take up about the same amount of space. But the bowling ball is a lot heavier than the volleyball because a volleyball is full of air. So we can say that a bowling ball is a lot more dense than a volleyball. Usually objects that are more dense than the liquid they are floating in will sink to the bottom. But that doesn't explain why large objects made of really dense materials, such as cargo ships, are able to float so easily. This brings up the second thing we need to understand. A really long time ago, a man named Archimedes figured out that every time you put something in water, it has to make room for itself. It does that by pushing aside the water as it gets in. We're gonna use this bin of water to test it out. If an object like this volleyball is lighter than the amount of water it displaces, then it floats. This tends to happen with less dense objects. But if an object is heavier than the amount of water it displaces, or if it's really dense like this bowling ball, then it sinks to the bottom. So back to our cargo ship. Even though it's very heavy, it's also very large. And most of it is actually hollow, so it's not as dense as we think. The bottom of the ship is also designed to displace a lot of water. This means that the ship actually ends up being lighter than the amount of water it displaces. And that means it can float. You can try testing some objects yourself to see if they float in water. Make your predictions first though. The results might surprise you. I hope you have fun trying this out. And thanks for watching this episode of Things Explained. Wait. So, you might have heard that a rare solar eclipse will be passing over the United States on August 21st, and that... Okay. Okay. So, there's a lot of stuff on YouTube also. So, generally, you got some idea now. Okay. Now, if I make a box, how do I move it? You need some sort of propulsion system to push it over the water. And normally what we say a ship is to you are going to spend money. So you will say kuch paisa to banna mangta hai. So you create a ship, make sure it has got capacity to carry passengers or cargo, whatever it is. And you earn some money also, unless you make it totally for pleasure. And of course, whatever ship you make, Somebody has to maintain and run it. Hmm? Somebody has to do it, no? You can own an aircraft, doesn't mean you have to fly it yourself. You can have a car, but you need a driver. You may become driver yourself, but driver is required. So similarly, we are all required. Now what happens? This is a basic thing about ships. How shipping started is a long, long history. Long history. It is like this. You know, means there was supposed to be only one continent in the beginning. Then it broke. And uh, Australia was formed. Then uh, Africa. Then uh, Americas broke. Then so South and North Americas were formed. One way or the other. Whatever happened. Basically. Now, it happened long ago. There was a clash of the tectonic plates and uh, you had Himalayas and Tibet and all. And there is another interesting thing which I found out sometime back is uh, dingo, the dog-like thing, you know, animal in Africa, uh, no, uh, sorry, Australia, has got uh, direct connectivity with genes with Indian dogs. So, how did it happen? Because Australia was discovered only, I think, about 300 years ago, probably. So, that time the population there was using Stone Age weapons. They did not reach metals. So, probably Australia broke away from India. So, animals also went there. Nobody realized that it happened over thousands of years. So, slowly, slowly it separated out and settled there. And that course, you know, is interesting because uh, during my sailing days, 
of New Zealand in Pacific Island, new islands have come up from water. Because that area has got a lot of this seismic activity. Anyway, so human beings were there in the beginning, our ancestors. And even human brain has taken long time for development. You know, it has taken thousands of years to reach what we have got it today. And we still call people donkeys. You know. So, it started long back. Basically, those days they had nothing else. According to season, they starve or they had food to eat. Hunting skills were not there, they had to starve. So, it started. Then, over a period, they learned farming. Why farming was required? Because farming, whatever you produce is there. You can store it as a reserved food. Otherwise, what is the choice in winters, cold winters? Hunting. If you kill something, you can eat that and that's the end of it. So they fought over fire. They were doing hunting for food. Then they learned something about farming, learning from nature. And another thing what human beings always needed was fresh water, food and water. So all the human settlements, the time from where the nomadic state finished and people started, you know, uh, settling down. They settled down next to water bodies, whether it was a lake, whether it was rivers. They fought over uh, rivers and lakes with each other, killed each other also. Because everybody wanted, uh, uh, you know, access to water. Now, when you live next to water, first thing was always like, you know, they didn't know swimming. Obviously, human beings are the only animals who can't swim. Every other animal seems to have the skill of swimming. Every species. So, they didn't know how to catch fish. They could see the fish, but they didn't know how to catch, except maybe using a spar or something like that. Okay, it evolved further. They realize that you need to use the waterways. Why? Land routes were treacherous. Somebody can attack you. Then the efficiency of land routes is low. Why? You need mules or somebody to carry. Human beings carrying the load. There is a limitation. Whereas, if you can get something that floats, you can put a lot more weight. And you can use currents, counter currents. So one way or the other, they learn how to tie up knots and all and somehow how to use the reed to make something like a you know, small wooden platform like thing, raft. Slowly, steadily, they learn. But all this activity was next to domestic water. Domestic water, what I am saying is uh, lakes, rivers, which don't really become that rough or something. So whatever they made could last only there. Moment they came to sea, it was too much. Earlier they didn't know. Over a period they learned first one was, you know, tying up some sort of a branch or something to make a sail out of it. So using that sail, they could utilize, you know, earlier thing was only the current. Once you started using some sort of a wind energy, it became little more easier. Then they learned there is something on land breeze and sea breeze that you will be learning in, in meteorology. There is land breeze and sea breeze. So they learned to use it, okay, timing it accordingly. So I am going from A to B. I can go between these times on the B to A. I have to come back in this time. So this is how it started. That time, obviously, you know, the skills were lesser. Fabric was not there. Then somehow somebody learned over a period how to make a fabric. Fabric came, the sales changed, sales became fabric. Now, when they, you know, then the trade was increasing. Now, when we look at it, almost say 5,000 years ago, there was a lot of uh, migration and empires. We still talk about those, uh, you know, old days where, you know, there were a lot of movies have been made. Like, 3000, 4000 CE. CE is current epoch. This is something to do with uh, modern day arguments of people saying that otherwise we used to say BC, before Christ. So, as usual, there was somebody who had objections and then they said we will use CE. 
otherwise you use BC. It's the same thing. They don't understand why people have to argue on these types of things. Then, that time, you had to, you heard stories about Roman Empire, the Persian Empires and so on. India also had some empires. Then, since the trade started slowly, steadily, people needed to transfer things because, you know, you already had food stuff, farming. So, excessive one you wanted to exchange for something else. So, the trade started. Trade started, now you are going across the oceans. In, because there is a lot of history written about Mediterranean. Other places it's not so much for different reasons. Probably uh, uh, Mediterranean guys maintain history. Means, you know, somebody wrote it down. Our places... Uh, knowledge was not exchanged much. Like Chinese also had something because the whole civilization has come up together. It is not like civilization was there only in what certain places. But they adopted different styles. These different styles will touch it again afterward. Now when what? you start making the ships, what happened? Okay. Now, you need a stronger ship. Stronger ships means wood. Wood comes only from trees. So, forget all the, you know, the reed and all whatever was used, the weaker material. Now, you need trees. Trees have got size. You just don't have a tree which is 100 meters tall. So, whatever trees were available according to that and available technology, wooden ships were made. These wooden ships use sails. These wooden ships use sails and slaves also rowing and all. You must have seen that in movies. But earlier ships, they were. I will turn off his mind. Okay. So, earlier ships reached certain size because technology allowed you to connect wood in a particular way only. They did not have access to uh, metals. Metal technology was low. We are talking already about 6,000 years ago. Okay. So, ships had certain size and how the ship sizes were made, uh, you know, measured was like this tons. This is T-O-N ton. That is cricket ton. Century. 100 cubic feet. Now, those days, whatever unit they use, I don't know. But units of 100, when we learned about these things, we use the unit saying that 100 cubic feet is one ton. So, ships had certain size. That was between 500 to 1000 tons because uh, technology didn't exist to make bigger wooden ships. Then later on, Means, you know, when sailing ships were there, sailing ship size has not really gone up beyond this size even today. Uh, today also you have got sailing ships, they have got reserved cargoes and all, they fly between say India and uh, East Africa and Persian Gulf and all, Dows we call them. Anyway, the larger ship started only with metal. When metal was tamed, I will use the word tamed because Metal has been around, but we didn't know tricks of the trade. Because everybody knew only make the weapon heads, make the sword and that's it. Small parts. Making big target was not easy. Till a riveting process came, then the welding process came. The ships had rivets. Even in 1950s, ships were made with riveting. 60s also some ships. But welding had entered. Then ship sizes were something like bigger. Now what happened? The steam engine was found earlier. Now the problem comes. The steam engine was there. But how do you put it on wooden ship? Guy will say, you are mad or what? You want me to start fire on my wooden ship? So steam engine didn't work on wooden ships. It was not practicable. Now before that, before that, the, what they say, age of discovery, that is from mid-1400 to 90. 
the europe weather is horrible believe me when you go there in winters and all you will know it it's horrible weather so they had a serious problem of starvation during the winters because how many animals will be there you know your resources were getting dried up so europeans started moving out they had to move out because they did not have convenient things around them whereas countries like india say america with a red indian population and all or the south america with you know red indian populations africa they all had that so you know self uh, working localized economy type means villages were sort of self sufficient they were happy they had enough resources and basically what happens is the equatorial regions get everything on time so they don't have to work that hard and europeans don't come from equatorial regions so they moved around and wherever they went they never had really resistance anywhere don't believe in any movies there was no resistance anywhere because i am happy you come as a guest i am happy come and sit here enjoy food but european needed to take everything away so they started colonizing and they used to use variety of tricks also huh? because they mapping was there they used to do mapping also all these names i am talking uh, columbus megaland captain cook darwin etc these guys when they were sailing they used to also make maps note down where is what they used to carry animals in pairs and they used to drop them on islands or the lands wherever they went and that information was uh, private secret they used to exchange among themselves or sell it and all so that they could replenish their food stuff stock because that particular island somebody had left two pigs and now he goes there after 20 years two pigs have become maybe 2000 whatever the local system supported so he all he had to do was catch and use it as food so they had the mapping system it took its own time and it improved with time but they were all secret documents till really speaking the british uh, made whole world as their colony now lot they needed europeans needed to take back resources from colonies to europe so the shipping flourished they were mostly doing one way like it also they did something like you if you go to usa you will find it in lot of the old ports you will find these cobblestones they were carried as a ballast from europe to usa discharged there and all the resources were loaded and ships go and back so this is how it happened okay we'll stop here because you will be reading it anyway and then we will come to little bigger ships we are about 5 minutes behind the division 1 now i want your straightforward opinions okay straightforward opinion do you understand what i am talking honestly ah eh? unmute and tell me yes sir my yes, sir. accent my yes, language sir. volume yes sir, of course yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. okay fine 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 yes, sir. okay good no because this is one of the worries in the beginning sir am i audible yeah you are audible okay so one part is over you can understand normally what is written have you read it honestly anybody has read what i have written here yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. okay yes, sir. Do, do you understand the language i have used here yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir no, no difficulties yes, sir. no no sir. Sir. so your content no, is sir, quite no user friendly okay fine means you see we have got a big gap here you know? it's like grandfather and grandson that sort of a gap we have got so obviously your styles are different than my styles we can't copy each other's style only in what dramas we can do that okay 
so this obstacle is also over hmm now let me just check now i will put you on mute so that i get in sequence to see who is absent okay okay Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, fifty is missing. Okay, so fifty is missing, and seventy nine. You have put a full stop there. After seventy nine space full stop, not full stop. Put your name there. Hmm. Put your name because what happens? It makes it easier for both of us. We can also talk. Now okay, what? Okay, sir. What have we? Okay. Now tomorrow do some reading on this only, and we will continue tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow your class is at what time? Uh, division two, same time, twelve o'clock to one o'clock. So I expect you all to be on time. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. okay. Now what I am going to do is I am going to leave.